Welcome to another edition of the Celtics Spotlight. Sean Myers joined by Riley Conforti, a freshman for the Celtics basketball team. Riley, thank you for doing this. How's everything going with you? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Uh, very excited to get to cover you now again. I saw you back in high school, so I'm glad that you're here at Carlo. And obviously, you're doing very well. You rank either first or second on the team in just about every category. Scoring, rebounds, assists, steals, and blocks. So how have you been able to contribute in so many different aspects right away? Uh, I think just working hard in practice definitely uh, translates up, uh, translate up, translates over into the games, and uh, yeah, just playing my part, uh, hustling anytime I can, and just trying to help whatever I can do. Well, it is your first year here at Carlo, so how has that transition gone? How have you fit in? Uh, it's been good. I mean, a lot of the older guys have kind of taken me under their wing, you know, made me feel at home, and I mean, everyone's so great around here. It's it's been it's been good, definitely. Not only is it your first year at Carlo, but your first year playing college basketball because you played football previously. So what led to that decision to make the change? Uh, honestly, I've, I've always kind of been a, a basketball guy. It's always been my favorite sport. So uh, just being down at AB last year, I really just missed it. So I uh, decided to come back to it, I guess. <laughs> what are some attributes that translate between the two sports? Uh, I'd say the physical aspect. Uh, back in high school when I played, I wasn't too much of a – a physical player but coming back from football I feel like getting a little bit stronger and just getting used to the physicality definitely definitely helped in basketball. What goals did you set for the team and for yourself this season? Uh, for the team I definitely want to want to make the playoffs uh, win a couple games but individually just uh, help the team however I can just be the best team I, teammate I can be. You mentioned that you were elsewhere before <laughs> Alderson brought us so what led to the decision to transfer here to Carlo? Uh, honestly, uh, playing basketball was a big part of it, but I wanted to get my major too and uh, just be at a spot that I felt comfortable at and Carlo was the best option for me. Speaking of which, what is your major? What would be an ideal future profession for you? Uh, I'm a biology major and I plan on being a, a PA, a physician's assistant, uh, hopefully in sports medicine. I know that it's your first semester still here, but what has been your favorite class? Uh, I have a writing class I like. Sorry. Right. You have a teammate who's a pretty good writer, right? And, and Malcolm Randall. Yeah, Malcolm. So uh, maybe get some tips from him Definitely. on that. <laughs> you attended Southmoreland High School. What was your fondest memory during your time there? Uh, the playoff, uh, the break in the playoff job was definitely pretty cool. But uh, just being around the guys, just uh, guys I grew up with playing, playing football and basketball with them. Well, you mentioned that playoff drought. For those unaware, Southmoreland had gone 40 years between football playoff appearances, but your senior year, you got back to the postseason. So kind of take me through the atmosphere and what that meant to the entire community. Uh, it was cool uh, seeing everyone uh, come out to the games. You know, we always had a uh, good, uh, good amount of people come out to the games, but once we started really, really winning and uh, had the chance to make the playoffs. We saw the whole community come out. And we had tremendous support. It was it was awesome. Do you still keep in touch with your former teammates or coaches from high school? Yeah, I was I was talking to a lot of the guys this season because uh, they made the playoffs too. So I was you know keeping in touch with them the whole season and definitely talk to the coaches all the time, checking on, see how I'm doing. Head coach Dave Kiefer, one of my favorites to yeah, talk to. He's a character. <laughs> if you could play one-on-one -on -one basketball against anyone, past or present, who would you choose? Uh, probably Kobe Bryant, just to see how he attacks the game. You know, he has that, that mentality to just kind of pick his brain. So let's say you played against him game to 11. What's the final score? Uh, got to respect him, but, you know, got to have some confidence myself. We'll say... We'll say 11-2. I'll give myself two points. Okay, good. That's <laughs> fair enough. It, do you go with water? Do you go with sports drink or something else during basketball? I'm pretty much a water guy. Just stick to water, yeah. Do you have a celebrity dream date? Dream date? Um, I was Zendaya. Like, Zendaya's a pretty good-looking gal. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, do you have a hidden talent? Or, or maybe what's a little-known fact about you? Um, in talent, uh, I'm a pretty decent uh, 2K player. If that means anything. What's your go-to game? Uh, 2K. I play Call of Duty a good bit too. Okay. Yeah. Um, Between those two. Do you play with any of your teammates? 
A little bit. I actually just, I'd be my roommate. I was going to say, you have to win now. You've talked it up, so you, you should be running the table against uh, all your teammates. Uh, you play. Yeah. Great to talk to you. Good luck the rest of this season. Appreciate it. Thank That's you That's Riley Conforti, a freshman for the Celtics men's basketball team here on the Celtics Spotlight.